First round. Viper and Phoenix tried taking B long control while they had a Sova lurking around A. With the help of Breach, Opportunities did a good job in pushing back the B long control from FPX. Angel, who was playing Viper, was pushed back and was spotted. And so he was stuck around the corner. And Opportunities wanted to push through, they wanted to take this opportunity to kill Angel before he tries to escape. Um, I hope you see what I did there. Angel then drops a snake bite, which is a pretty good move because move, if you push through the snake bite, you will be debuffed and you will take double damage. But he shouldn't have dropped his orb down when he was blind since the snake bite would debuff players pushing through it. And he could have won that battle only if he, as long as he had his gun out and unfortunately he dies here. I guess he didn't expect a push because no one would love, want to push through the Viper's uh, Molotov since it does double damage, but they pushed anyway and Viper lost that first round. The other guys went A, they got naded, they tried TP, but still they lost the round, they couldn't do much about it. Seconds left. This is a player down at B. Then they take the teleport, they're gonna try and sprint into this B site. Of course, what more A. can they manage? Meadow, all that's left over, Hoppy's gonna... Second round comes by, Viper deploys a wall around A halls and they try to take control of a shot try and do something with it but uh, race enters first and dies immediately the whole team decides to fall back and they go for a b take since viper had no more utility viper didn't have anything else left not even an orb i think that's the reason why angel went for the first contact usually if you're a viper you need to avoid being the first contact because if you're if you die your smokes go down and you don't want that to happen in between a firefight it was equal, so they had less chances to win anyway. And, and then, uh, to me, it's like, okay, it's all exciting and cool and whatnot that we get this last second kind of agent swap up, but where are the smokes coming from? You know, other than other than Vipers, it's gonna be difficult in executes, I'd assume. <laughs> Time will tell, of course, One as Logan's LA Bulldog remaining. continues to rip players apart. His turret even getting a kill of all things. Shadow. His crosshair is the exact same crosshair as the Sova Owl drone. Now that you've seen it, no, you'll never you be able can't to unsee. unsee. It. Yeah, wait until you see a Sova Owl. Oh Ten no! Ten seconds left. You must be inspired by that. Oh my god! Third round, FPX tried taking Huga control, which they did, and then they proceeded to take B. Notice how Viper tried to keep their attention towards A by throwing the orb and then wall over B from A for the teammates. The second FPX long control was spotted with the help of alarm bot from opportunities through B-Long. And right when uh, when uh, B-Long players got detected, Viper's smoke screen was also going up, the one which Angel threw all the way from A side to B. And opportunities already got the info. Viper threw a smoke and A heaven, but decides to throw a screen towards B. It didn't make sense. Plus they were already like going up for B-Long, so uh, opportunities then instantly decided to to retake. It was a 5v4 bomb set attack and this gave the defenders the advantage and they won it. Fourth round, Viper threw the same screen to A and they decided to go for a B take, completely letting go of the screen. So what was however lurking A, trying to get some information, trying to stop pushes and stuff. And they take hooker control, long control, and then Viper throws an orb to CT and they even aim battles quite significantly and beautifully. Zippin's able to dodge the concussive damage. Shao opens up shop. It is Logan to go down first. That leaves two members still in position. Rodin tucked on elbow. Rolling thunder. Denies the run it back, but Rodin runs it in and dies. As does his teammate. A clean sweep of everyone other than Hoppy. He answers back with two, but he gets softened through the Viper smoke and the Sheriff. Ends it all. Yeah, that's it. But... Fifth turn was an eco from the defense side. The economy was completely hit for opportunities and they decided to push Hookah. Breach was the first contact, which is weird. Breach shouldn't be the first contact. Breach should be flashing and being the secondary contact, while the first contact would be the person behind them. FPX kills Breach, the other player decides to fall back and not engage. And then FPX decided to go for an A take, leaving B. Viper smokes of heaven, it becomes a 2v5. Obviously 2v5 was a setback for opportunities and they lose around. Viper screens go. And it was on A last round when they hit B. Yep. The beauty of Viper's abilities, right? Can really play the fakes. 
And this one looking Spike like planted. it's gonna be a flawless round win from FPX. Assuming these last two players don't clutch it all, but Logan empty-handed as he falls, and yeah. Thanks to Zippin, it is flawless. Mm. Four kills for him, and a... Six down, they went for a B take, which is again, Sova lurking around A. They have a Sova, um, I know, I know. Sova is uh, good for getting information, why is he lurking? Um, they have a reason for it. I am not sure what the reason is. I think it's because Sova can use his utilities to try and distract uh, and play more like a fake lurk rather than being just a lurk, which is also a good move for them from them. And notice how in almost every B take, Viper slash Angel takes Belong with Phoenix. Always. Never goes hookah. I think this is because they want to deploy Viper smoke as late as possible, which can be done quickly when you take Belong control. I know you can do it with hookah as well, but hookah seems to be more risky to try and smoke off CT. It's better to smoke off a CD from B long, which is a bit easier. Angel threw the snake bites quite nicely, and they took B control swiftly with no toxic screen displayed so far. The defense side was, however, confusing. This was a buy round, a full buy round from both sides. Bree chooses fault line at first and then decides to fall back and rotate A completely. I think this is because opportunities expected a wall bank from the FPX when, when the fault line was being used. That was done in a previous round, if I'm correct, or probably they just experienced it in scrims. So they decided to use fault line, and since there was no wall bank, they expected uh, FPX not to be taking hookah control, which means they were probably having a B lurk or a A execute completely. And I think that's why they rotated quickly, but this was a very bad move from them. If they won this round, if they would have won this round, they would have a better chance to win more rounds because of the economy hit. Angel then decides to throw an ulti here, which is interesting. He gets the breach that was trying to push uh, towards uh, long, but Angel decides to dry push elbow. And this is because they already deployed their Killjoy's ultimate, which was almost done, almost ready to be activated. So I think Angel thought that no one should be elbow because anyone being elbow would be detained. So it doesn't make sense to any, for anyone to be there. But Killjoy was still there. Enemy Killjoy was still there, kills the Viper instantly. And the smoke was down, unfortunately, because of that. Killjoy of course gets retained, the other two defenders try and take the side. Sova from FPX who is lurking managed to flank them from CT and they went around quite easily. Seventh round was another eco from opportunities. As I said, if they would have won the previous round, they would have a higher chance to win. Unfortunately, they threw the sixth round more or less and um, over rotation was a big mistake. Breach misses fault line and then decides to double stack hookah this time rather than rotating A. Um, while the three A guys try and push a shot, expecting probably only Sova lurking or something, like the previous rounds. It was a very good push and they won the duels, two people died, it was a 4v3 for opportunities. However, FPX having superior aim battles in this round, Viper smokes off heaven later after getting the kills and walls off the flank, which was expected, and they win the round. That fight. is still his other three teammates, all with pistols. But this pistols can prevail. They're, I mean, yeah, they're, they're. It's not a great spot, but because they have Phoenix's ult, I mean, they can get so much information for free. Uh, they can use him to clear out lamps, potentially even get the kill with his ult if he's careful enough. And it looks like right now he's moving up just with his utility, not even thinking about it. Oh my God, the nearsightedness is just fine for him. He can see the monocle or not, and now. The other players are in rotational spots. They are with outside of the site, and Chow with lamps means they could potentially put the spike down. Getting closer and closer. Agent Angel left. runs out of toxin. Not going to be a problem. He does find Akuma close on site and clears the player out from heaven. Boom bot on the flank. Poor Logan. No longer having the element of surprise. Damn, they actually don't even use the Phoenix ult. I mean, they could have there. Could have. And a late screen as well to watch it. Again, these screens and the flame balls, they pair nicely with Sova, Sova's darts Variable to go over the back of them. And, oh, Logan, nice try. Eighth round, Breeze decides to tell you to distract while Omen and Race push off A uh, showers. So they probably tried to squeeze the enemies towards A showers if they were one. Um, but I think Breeze should have waited a bit 
Breachura waited for his teammates to push uh, Showers more forward. Breach dies to Phoenix. And um, but this gave information to opportunities. Opportunities decided to go back. Uh, uh, the race and Owen decided to go back A and then try and go route it to B. Again, FPX tries taking B control, sending Viper B long. Angel then throws the CT smoke. And since they haven't committed so far towards B, FPX was taking the time. Raise and Omen decided to do re rotate and stay A. And notice how there was no Viper wall to confuse them as well. Um, Angel did, die, did not use his wall for a long time after the, thir after the third round. Very good aim battles, very good team support from FPX. He's trying to get something back for his team, Out of only to learn a little bit too much. Area. Start to the back of the site and everybody will start to walk in now. Classic situation, you're in a three versus five, your side of the map has fallen silent. You think to yourself, if you make a play, if you find a timing, you're going to cut back the man advantage. You could be the reason your team gets back into contention this round, but instead... Ninth round, they decided to push A short aggressively since they haven't pushed it for a long time, FPX guys. And uh, they send Viper to slowly try and catch A showers. A bit too slow, I think. Anyway, FPX clears Hey halls through the drone and they take halts control immediately. However, Brace tried to push up triple and dives to showers right when Viper was going into clear. Around the same time, Brace pushes up Hey halls, catches Meadow off guard. Meanwhile, Omen peaks default and kills Soa. Curveballing his own teammate. Not a pretty sight, but opportunist using Hoppy to get deep into the showers. That actually nets them something. We're on a 2v2. Shower refuses to use this ultimate. He wants to just hold it over their heads. He's like telling them we can win no matter what, but he still has this option in his back pocket to seek out information as he wants to. But here, oh my goodness, Angel, when do you ever see that? Wow. That was labored. 10 bullets missed. Happy, Hoppy, excuse me, could not capitalize. Oh my god, he's actually able to get through the snake bites, almost finding... 10th round, Viper tries faking B control. They place a turret outside B link, and they go for an A tick. Opportunity, Sova uses drone to get an early info through the teleport. And they now know that FPX isn't taking B hookah so far. Even with this early information, however, they do not decide to send a guy from B to A to support, maybe expecting a A rush. They still didn't do that. Viper then smokes off a heaven, and by this time, F6 already got showers control, they push right in. This time, however, uh, opportunities decide to play retake, and they were waiting for the teammates to come, which was a pretty good move. This round, Angel deploys the toxic screen. Omen gets outplayed by Sova, and they just get another f man advantage once again. The rocket fuse halfway gone. Gonna have to shoot it in desperation. Paint shells will keep a player from peeking on heaven. And Hoppy, he's gonna go for that deep TP, but it gets called out. And he gets it off before dying. Unfortunate. Not even denied, but dead. And a corner unchecked. Oh, we get Gives Zippin a chance to deliver another kill before, of course, he falls. It's low HP for two of the three, one of which now down. And that does not bode well for the opportunists. They know exactly where Logan's at. Angel topples him and a four... 11th round, opportunities raised to such to push up a shot to do a wave. Only Sova is lurking around A long while the rest of the team works up B. Opportunities decided to push A long and catch the lurk. They send Sova back to B. Notice how every enemy respects Viper's orb smoke. Viper's orb smoke is damaging and they respect that. They, they, they don't want to push it. They don't want to do anything with it. They, they're not even trying to spam, nothing. Angel puts a pit to block elbow and Sova gets very low due to the decay. Unfortunately, the decay debuff, which made Sova extremely low, remained for a short duration of time and he regenerated quite quickly and killed Angel, catching him off guard. Three defenders in position, Akuma already with the flashes out. Deep utility coming in from Angel. Grenades making things uncomfortable. And now the Hunter's Fury is whipped out. Takis trying to interrupt the execute. Kind of doesn't get much for his money. Welcome to my world. 
And we've got the pit up from Angel. He, of course, he throws that down towards Garden, so it will make it to the spike. But it's going to be a difficult spot if the retake even had a chance to get into this. Takis will take him down. And Angel now on Actually, the other side of the wall. Oh. Takis has to rack his brain. Where has he gone off to? Oh, my God. Oh, but he gets him with the spray. It's a little labored. But hell, it's a clutch. And it's a fourth round for the opportunist. Oh, my God. Let's move on to defender side pistol rounds. This is where Viper is extremely powerful as a defend in a bind. Angel throws a one-way orb for a shot and a screen to block off Huka and Belong. This screen is quite powerful because they're blocking two places with one screen rather than having two different smokes like Omar would have to do. This is quite good. Opportunities take Belong relatively unhurt and FPX however lose the retail. Unfortunately, this would have been extremely easy to retake if Angel wouldn't have been the first contact once again. Angel just goes for first contact. I don't know why. I would not recommend being the first contact. However, Angel being extremely confident tries to be aggressive, goes through, dies. Because of that, the screen goes down. Now they don't have any smokes to block off. Uh, long guys and hooker guys kill them and just win the round. I stress this enough. I'm stressing it again. Viper, as a Viper, please don't be the first contact. Try and be the second contact. The only situation you need to be first contact would be if you do not have any utilities to play with. Second round of the second half, opportunities take aggressive shot and showers control. FPX decides to respect the push and play back for the retail. They were trying to keep the halts control. They were trying to let the teammates come fast. They didn't want to over peak and over shoot and stuff. Angel gets a good kill. However, the race does a good job in flanking Oz, gets two kills. And um, FPX lose the retake, but they do heavy damage to the eco though. And that pushes Angel into a hell of an awkward situation. Logan, nice headshot off the Bulldog Shao with an answer, but he's gonna need three more kills to make this round happen. And there's one. Well, he's got the Molly. That's a heal. He'll get nearly up to 100. And now he goes hunting yet again, held in by that headshot angle. Tough stuff to get by, and Hoppy's gonna close this. Six the next turn, opportunities decided to commit B with no lurks, and FPX rotate later after the drone and player gets spotted. Again, for some reason, Angel is being more or less the first contact. It was a buy round as well. FPX get ready for retake, and they get elbow control and CT. And as I said, the toxic screen was very useful, the way Angel set it up. Opportunities have the planter hold the site, and the other three just playing from far back for some reason. They didn't want to take elbow control. They didn't want to try and uh, block CT. They just went back. I am pretty sure they had the reasons for it. Anyway, as I said again and again and again, the screen blocks off both Hookah and Long, which is very useful. And you can clearly see how. Down detains no one, nothing. 4v4 regardless. Scanning comes to an end. Takis looking to plant that spike, but you know, this is one of those issues is you've got that toxic screen in the face of the Garden players. It's gonna be really tough for opportunists to hang on to this post plant, perhaps. Maybe Hoppy brings it back. We've signed him with impact in these mid-round moments. Al drone coming out from the defender's spawn. Takis looking to make the most of it, but Zippin bests him. Angel with a headshot into Logan. And again, this toxic screen the entire time denies vision as the kills come out from FPX. And now everybody switches the Viper on Bind. I mean, that'd be in another Cider situation. You'd throw it down later on. Wow. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, like man. staring through a kaleidoscope, he grabs that into Hookah. I'm sorry, can he see through these things? I know, right? Dirty. Um, but yeah, it, it is all that. Ooh. Later, opportunities decide to send a lurk through A this round and they go aggressive B. Toxic screen was as usual, very useful. It was used so well by Angel. The attackers are stopped completely on their tracks. Very low health for the man on retreat. 22 HP to be exact. Meadow, do you really want to peek this? I mean, his teammates are doing the work for him, damn it. Zippin and Angel absolutely delivering. That is 40 kills between the two. Make it 41. Okay. They will give that up and Zippin will get the last as well. They again, however, decide to aggro push this time. A short and no one sending, sending no one showers. 
them not having Shower's control and aggro pushing a shot costs them a lot. FPX plays it really well and with surround. Opportunities keep aggro pushing a lot, not maintaining pro proper map control, and not playing around with lurks and playing with um, fakes. It's almost as if they have no composure anymore and just wanted to put all force into one spot. In 6-12, Angel decides to ult Huka and maintain Huka control. This ult is very good, you know. This ult is very good because if anyone tries to push through this uh, Huka, they would be very low by the time they reach the, uh, uh, the exit of the smoke because of DK. So they can't really do much. Opportunities regroup for an A short push. No showers as usual. This time, however, FPX did not have showers control. This was a small mistake from them. They lose the side hold. It's gonna take something special, perhaps. Zippin only able to get the one kill. There it is from Takis. Okay. Two Five phantom points. headshots. Leaves them in a four Justin versus two. Down. That walk up onto the A site works out wonderfully. Well, it was the A play that they wanted. They got it. They just couldn't hold. shao has been very good aim-wise uh, from up here. Agreed. Uh, finding the kills. The peaks might be a little bit harder. Full charge Tremor. Angel's Toxin near non-existent. Shao's fallen out from heaven. Any kill at this point is going to have impact. Again, six map and match points. Angel's running in through Lamps, double headshot <laughs> off the Vandal, swaps to another one. They're still going to be able to pressure this, but there's just no time, so take all the kills you can. He's actually just deathmatching, looking for his 40th kill now. Takis will fall back with 6 age Killjoy alt over on the B site. And there it is, really early. They're going to try to score a plant off this, but immediately the alt gets called out and cancelled by Shadow. Will they know? And now they'll actually turn it back over towards the A site. Oh. Total bait. Dude, and they're vulnerable. Running through the snake bite leaves you so susceptible to damage. Not to mention Zippin whips out the showstopper Damn. just in case they want to commit. I want to say this is a beautifully orchestrated round by FPX. I mean, the mind game's both ways. They had that ready. Maybe they knew rotation back would come. Even if they weren't sure of it, they had Viper on A this time. Left. Benefit of the doubt. Oh, Zippin, that could be huge. Just gonna absolutely wreck what's left of this. One man alone in Hoppy has everything to do, and Xiao shuts down the show. Ladies and gentlemen, you're third. Uh, first of all, we didn't show everything which Wiper can do. And second mm. of all, uh, it's actually our best comp for Bind at the moment. Wiper is like just really well played as a city, and you don't need like that much of utility on attacking side. Hello, first of all. Yeah, and I think we prepared Viper for like three weeks or so. It's like we've been testing a lot of stuff before our preparation to first like quals begin. Yeah, and we came up with some like really good ideas. Some of those you saw this tournament.